Hey guys, Forger here, and today guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, we're playing some more Roblox and we're playing some more Dinosaur Simulator. So today guys, if you guys do play um, Dinosaur Simulator, this is for you, and if you're into trading and you want to get yourself your first hybrid, this video will definitely help you out. Trust me guys, it it has get it has gotten me hybrids literally pretty fast. All right, if you do it right. All right, so if you don't know how to get into the trading map, just click on maps over here, bottom right, and then click on trading map and play. That's it. And now let's go into the trading map. All right, guys, we are in. So, all right, I'm gonna teach you how you get. Um, your first hybrid or how to get better at trading because this technique trust me guys it works a lot it's a lot better than like whatever technique you're using I'll tell you that because it's really good it's really effective so first of all you want to know your values you can't really know your values because there's not a value list but um, that's why you can join the um, dinosaur simulator discord server link in the description below you can join that that helps you out a lot because like if you get if you get trades that you don't know if they accept or decline you go ask the discord for help because that is really really key all right guys next step you should know how to um know your values so if you know your values do you want to um go to the trading menu and then you just want to send everyone trades don't send them let's say don't send them good trades or Good trades for you but bad trades for them so something like this so as you guys can see right here this is a really bad trade and if he accepts i make a lot of profit so if you guys don't know what trading is i mean if you want to trade up or get a bit better stuff as jacko said you want to um you want to trade upwards and get better stuff you know so you basically have to trick them for them to accept so um let's say let's just send this guy this trade mostly uh, most likely guys they're not going to accept but but you but you probably can get like two to one person in your server to accept your trades sometimes most may probably mainly zero if you send really really bad trades but you just gotta like you just gotta feel what trades to send that you think they're gonna accept that's a bad trade so like this i'm just sending all of this bad trades hope they accept for demonstration not guaranteeing they're gonna accept but if they do accept will be pretty amazing so let's just send something like this so um like let's okay so let's say um they have a trade like this inventory like this like you know they're not gonna accept anything something like this just just send it for free guys literally just send it for free there's a chance of them accepting you know just send them like trades like even if it's even if you ask for it for free send it you never know if they accept i do get trades like them literally just accepting the offer i literally just asked for it and they literally just oh someone accepted my trade just like that guys look at that just like that and what did we get boom there we go i'd say that's profit you might not you might say that's not profit but let me tell you guys just trade so i know mayhem spinosaurus you can't i mean can't, you can't get it but it costs a lot of dna and it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get it so what i like to do so this trade i feel like i win because i can I can literally just send this fantasy quits or something like this for me I'm back for me I'm Spinosaurus so that's a good trade on my side I guess and if you guys want to trade for hybrids you can't be picky all right guys you can't be picky of what dinosaurs you want to get yourself a hybrid let's say you guys want to get yourself a a, a mega ball but you're picky and you just and like so let's say someone offers you Oh no, let's say someone offers you a powder plush and you have a headless. That is a really good trade. You should accept that. But let's say you're picky and you like your headless more. You can't be picky, guys. Literally, if you want to trade up, you can't be picky. Go for value. If you want to trade for hybrids, people with hybrids, they want value. They don't want bloody good looking stuff. I mean, they, they do, but like, <laughs> but of course, they still want, um, let's say, what's it called? Um, value so you can't just send like a bloody headless for mega boy that that's it doesn't work like that guys unless the guy is literally just bloody like an idiot and he just accepts and oh my god you're lucky boy so yeah the send these trades you never know if they um accept so after you send everyone trades i recommend you just stay on the server for like a few minutes watch some youtube sit back they might accept and if they don't accept which i want you to guys do click close click maps click classic Boom, just like that, server hopping. It's normal, you always server hop now and then. 
and I, I, I recommend you guys um not being friends with a lot of people in the trading map because it will ruin your server hopping all right i'll tell you that so if you're friends with something you'll get back into the same server well i got back into the same server but and i had no friends oh unlucky me unless there's no other servers available but i'm pretty sure there is so with this like technique i pretty much got my albino terror on my first oh not my first i bought a hybrid because i did quit this game and i sold all my stuff but now i'm back so when I came back, I started trading, and in total, it took me three weeks, but it took me two weeks to get a phoenix, okay guys? And then I accidentally traded that bloody phoenix for a swan, which was absolutely a, the dumbest trade ever I could ever do. Alright guys, so you guys want to be, um, be careful about your trading. You don't want to send accident trades, alright guys? Don't big for it back again. That's not how a trade works. There's no trade backs, alright? If it's a mistake, it's your fault. Just suck it up, alright guys, I, I sucked the mine up, I bloody sucked it so hard. <laughs> so, pretty much, I traded it for Swan, my Phoenix for Swan. After that, two weeks of hard work to get that Phoenix. Kinda gave up, and then I came back. All I had was like a Swan and a few Bibles. I don't know how, but I ended up getting two Phoenixes in four or five days. And then, about like two days later, I got my Mega. I don't know how that happened, but okay, I was like so amazed about myself, so don't give up guys, just don't give up. So yeah guys, I guess that's about it for trading. Um, you want to be patient, don't forget, patient is key. You're not going to get your bloody mega in like two one day, trust me, you're not going to get that. Unless you're like bloody lucky god on your side or something like that, but otherwise you're not, alright guys? So those are my tips, they, don't just trust me guys, you want to use them, they are really really good. Trust me guys, they will help you a lot. So I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys liked and enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys.